I'm Miss Percy Smith from Wolverhampton Music Service. This is a video designed to support saxophone players in finding and fixing your saxophone sound. Our sound can be affected positively and negatively by a handful of factors. This video is going to focus on three main areas to check to encourage a clear sound and avoid squeaks. The reed and mouthpiece must be set up accurately in order to make a good sound. For this you will need to check the condition of the reed and how it is lined up. Checking your reed is the easiest step. If your reed is at all broken along the tip or edges, then it is important to change this for a new one wherever possible. Here is an example of a reed that is well lined up. You will see that the sides and the top of the reed are lined up exactly with the shape of the mouthpiece. The ligature is holding everything firmly in place. I can easily make a clear sound like this. <laughs> So that it is off at an angle, in other words poorly lined up, then this will have a knock-on effect on my sound. Here's how it sounds with a wonky reed. The way we blow through the mouthpiece also has a big effect on our sound. The first check to make is, is your embouchure secure? If you are unsure about how to create a good saxophone embouchure, then here is a reminder. I'm going to demonstrate this using just the neck and mouthpiece, but you can use the whole saxophone if you prefer. First, take your mouthpiece and check that the reed is facing towards you. Curve your bottom lip over your bottom teeth. Rest the reed on your bottom lip about one centimetre into your mouth. Secure the mouthpiece in place using your top teeth. Breathe in through the sides of your mouth, seal your mouth around the mouthpiece and then blow out in an ooh shape. One of the most important things to remember here is that if the lower teeth touch the reed, then you will squeak. Be sure to keep the soft part of your lower lip over your teeth at all times. It is also worth checking how you are blowing. To get a clear sound on the saxophone, we should blow with a fast or cold stream of air. To check if you are blowing in this way, try this activity with me. We're going to start by waking up our lungs, breathing in over four beats, then blowing out all of the air over four beats. When you blow the air out, bring your lips together as if you were saying an oo sound. Now let's do the same, but blowing out over five beats. You can continue this activity on your own, changing the number of beats. Now we're going to check our airspeed so that we're ready to make a good sound. Put your hand up a little way from your face. Take a deep breath like before and blow out towards your palm like this. The air should feel cool on your palm. This is called cold air and is the air we need to use on the saxophone. Don't worry if this takes you a few attempts. Remember, to get cold air, you have to blow quite strongly and you may want to bring your lips together a little as if you were saying an ooh sound. A final check that can be made is hand position. Squeaks or muffled sounds can easily happen if we knock other keys while playing. To avoid this happening, your hands need to be in a C shape curving around the instrument. Thank you for watching. Come back again to see the videos we will be releasing to support you at home. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos.